92.7 WOBM. Sean Michaels with you. We're here at Trump National Golf Club in Colts Neck for a beautiful golf outing today with Dottie's House. And I'm here with Carol Wolf of Dottie's House to talk about what it is all about. Tell us a little bit about what Dottie's House is for those who still may not be familiar with your organization. I'll be happy to. Um, 17 years ago, we opened Dottie's House, and the purpose was to provide a place for women and children who had survived domestic violence who could have long-term care to help them turn their lives around, as well as get educated, get jobs, learn how to parent, and learn how to be financially and emotionally independent. We're one of only two in the entire country that does this particular service. I think what's interesting about Dottie's house is it's not just a shelter. It's a chance for people to re-establish their life, if they will, get back their self-respect, and to also start a new in many different career avenues, education, that's what makes this program so special. It's not just a place to go for shelter. Yes, it is that, but you do so much more. And that's the purpose. We don't want them to just come and have a roof over their head and food on the table. We want them to change their lifestyle. We want them to empower themselves to be successful. And we just had a graduate for, uh, get her associate's degree at Ocean County College while she held a part-time job and her children were in daycare. And she had to follow all the rules and regulations like we all do. And she's done beautifully. We're here with Carol Wolf of Dottie's House. And Carol's going to share with us a little bit of the history, how it all came about. How did it come about? How to get its name? Tell us a little bit of the history. Okay, I, I was working uh, in, in Brook Township and I was involved somewhat in affordable housing and I began to, I, I was interested in domestic violence and so I began to talk with people from Providence House and uh, different programs in the area and the state and there was nowhere where everything was in one place and yet they had the freedom to grow. And so I went to the county, I went to the municipality, I went to the state, and everybody supported it. And um, we named it in honor of my mother. Uh, and Dottie was a victim. Uh, my father was a wonderful man when he was wonderful, but like most abusers, he would kind of lose it and really cause harm. So I'm fascinated by the program and by the success of the women, and I really do relate a lot to the children. They're amazing. These little kids come in looking down, or they're either, everything is introspective, or they're wild, and they change and they bond with the other kids. In fact, sometimes when they graduate, the kids cry. They don't want to leave. So they're welcome to come back forever and visit us. But Dottie's house is a very special place. Amazing. And if you want more details, go to dottieshouse.org for more information.